Hello my friends, today I'd like to share with you my experience ordering membrane keypads. One of the popular sites to order such keypads is JR Panel, but for my taste they're a little bit more expensive than you can get on Alibaba. So if we increase the size from 50 by 50 to say 100 by 100, then we see that the total price doesn't really change very much. Uh, the colors are actually important, so if we just use one color, uh, though that would probably be hard, maybe two colors is the minimum, quite cheap, but if we bump the colors to six, then the price grows almost two times, and if we go crazy with colors, then it just gets more expensive, and so you probably realize that you can't print uh, normal images on this keypad, because even just with 256 colors, it becomes prohibitively expensive. Fewer buttons is cheaper. The buttons are really not very expensive. Gloss window with made surface is also an expensive option. If you want a cutout in the middle of your keypad that will allow you to show the display through. After we figured out the size of our keypad, understand how it will look. And so for that, let's go to Figma. It's the website called figma.com. You can register there for free and use it for free. And there we create a frame. Everything is counted in pixels. So let's say one millimeter is two pixels. And let's not make, make it some interesting color. Add some buttons. Now we can't go with the classic web design because it uses a lot of gradients and a lot of colors. And we, as we saw before, the colors are very expensive here in the membrane keypads. Your finger basically makes a round impression, so you, we can either make round or square buttons. We've just created a rectangle, and uh, the minimum size that they use for the metal domes that you're going to press on is, I think, 10 by 10 millimeters. The finger size, at least for me, is 16 millimeters width and height. So I probably don't want to make buttons that are smaller than 16 millimeters width or height. 32 by 32 so that makes it 16 millimeter square let's give it some interesting color so now we just have this rectangle and if we go here we can add the radius to it to make it look a little better let's just add some text should just select here on the left i can add a stroke and a stroke can be a different color it can also be white okay now we just take those two items and we group them together and now if i just hold alt on my keyboard and move this, then I will make a copy. And if I just uh, keep holding Alt making copies, then Figma conveniently tells me when it's good. And so if I hold Alt and hover with my mouse over something else, then it shows me the distance to it. Okay, let's say here A, B, C, D. Right. So let's make a window for our display. So of course with this window I have to measure my actual display and then add some margin on the side so make the window a little bigger so that user can see display for any, from any angle because display obviously is going to be some distance in the back from our cutout. And for the cutout we can also add some corner radius. Cool, okay, and then we can just uh, hold shift and select all of these, control C, control V, just add the second row of buttons and then just center the cutout between the buttons. And if I just double click into this, then I can change all the labels again. So we just created our first keypad. At the bottom right, you see that I can export it and I can export it as an SVG. Just go to alibaba.com and register there. Again, it is free. And here we will type membrane keypad. My goal is just to pick the ones that have been on the market for a while and just disregard this price per piece, it doesn't really mean anything. The minimum order would be probably be around uh, $400. Once you find the manufacturer that uh, you're kind of happy with and that looks legit, I started an order and I told them, hey, I need a sample of five keypads. This is the size. I need a transparent window, metal domes, and a metal connector. They pretty quickly replied more questions because obviously I didn't specify enough for them to be able to make a quote and so i came to my senses and uh, added some more details to my drawing and then i also went to easy eda created a specification for the pcb so you open easy eda and here we just start a new project so we have eight buttons on our keypad the number of pins we need is calculated as a square root from the number of buttons rounded up three plus three is six so we need a one millimeter six pin connector
I just go to LCSC catalog and search for terminal and we will go for FFC FPC connectors. So we select that we need six contacts and one millimeter pitch. And now we can start wiring. Just press W on my keyboard, two rows and four columns. All right, so now whenever user presses this button, for example, we can just check if there is a connection between the pin one and six. And so if the pin one and six are connected, it means that this button is pressed. Now we just take this drawing and send it to our Alibaba supplier. We also specify how long we want the wire coming out of the circuit. So finally I get my estimate and the unit price they propose for the actual production run around $5. The initial tooling to make even one keypad costs money because they need to make the molds. And so the first order is always very expensive in terms of the unit price. They also send me a quote and you can see that a lot of molds need to be prepared six molds in total. After that, now that I'm happy with what they produced, they create a payment link for me. I give them my address for shipping and phone number for shipping as well. I pay the money. Now they actually start planning for production and creation of the molds and they send me the final technical drawing before production. They specified the Pantone colors that I want to use in my drawing and they specified the the weight required to press on the buttons and for me it feels like 350 grams is a lot to press just one button and if you need to press it 20 times which can easily happen in our applications that would be tiring so i asked them to reduce this uh, value and they did see here on the left they've converted my basic circuit diagram into a two-layer pcb though there was some problem with converting svg you can see that the plus sign has suffered and so we discuss for a little more all those details they recommend using 280 grand now that they i have those samples i know that this is still too much that i would like maybe 150 gram domes i also realized a bit later then i need to think about esd protection they said that it will require them to redo the molds and at that point I said, okay, I can just do this on the PCB. It looks like adding a bunch of uh, special diodes to every input that need to be protected. And so after a few days, they've produced uh, the actual samples and they are looking pretty good. Those samples are sent to me. So I am quite happy with this prototype. A few concerns I have is on one of the prototypes there is a little bleed through of the blue color outside of the button. So I'm not sure what happened there. For example, the other samples don't have this problem. The buttons, they're okay, but I wish they were a little easier to press. So I need to apply a considerable force to press it. And if I need to press it a lot of times, then it gets old very quickly. Even though that these buttons are rated for hundreds of thousands of presses, I just uh, want it to be easier on my fingers. Here goes the screen and below is going to be my PCB, but the connector on the PCB will be on the back side of the PCB. In order to reach to the back side of the PCB uh, and connect, I need to twist this, which is not nice. I wish I could also place this exit position uh, somewhat higher it would reduce the amount of flex I need to exert. It would just look more professional. Other than that, uh, I'm quite happy with this. One thing to note is that this is a flexible thing. Uh, there needs to be a firm backing for it. Yeah, here on the back you can actually see how it works. This is the flexible PCB and it's covered with a transparent 3M adhesive tape. There is a metal dome that makes contact between those two paths on the PCB.